Hello friends, welcome. In this video I'm going to work with the authentication and we are going to create the database, add the username in the user migrations and also in the user form. So when we register a new user, we need to have the username there. Also add the email verification to the user and finally we push everything to the GitHub. Okay, so first let's create the database and I'm going to open my table plus and create a new database. And if I open the VS code and I have for a long time this theme and maybe I'm going to change this to the white light mode because I think it's more nice for the eyes, but anyway. So let's uh, open the .env file and here by default, because we added the name Reddit clone, the Laravel give it a database name Reddit underscore clone and I'm going to use this one, but you can change. So let's copy that and come here and create a new database. Say new one, paste that name, click OK and let's open. Good. Now we created the database. Let's see, add the username. So to add the username, we need to go in the database, migrations, user, or we can create another migration and say add username to the user. But because this is a blank project, I'm going to modify the user's table. So here, let's say dollar sign table string and instead of email, I'm going to say username and I'm going to make the username unique. So save this one, close and let's go and run now the, well, let's open here, open here and run npm sorry, around the PHP artisan migrate. So PHP artisan migrate. Okay, and now we have, because we have the Laravel version uh, 9.21, we have this nice info here. Okay, if I open the table plus and refresh, here it is the user's table and also has the username. Very good. Let's check the mark this as add username. Now, when we go to the register page, we need to add that here. So the username. Let's go inside. I'm going to close the terminal and let's go inside the app. HTTP controllers out controller and here we have the register user controller and we see here for the create method is going to return this inertia render and I, what I said uh, you need to know the inertia, how is the inertia works, because I'm not going to show you how the inertia works. I'm go just going to show you how we can create this project with inertia. Inertia, here we have the inertia render auth register. So the, in the JS, we have this auth folder and here we have the register page and there is the form. So let's go inside the resources, JS, pages, and we have this auth folder. Inside this auth folder, we have the register. You can see here at the register.view. And by default, we have this const form, use form. We have the name, email, password, password confirmation. And we have also the terms here for false. Let's add also the username and make this as 
an empty string. Okay. Next, we need to add also the input and let me. And as you can see here, here we have the autocomplete for the username. So if I come here, what do I set autocomplete username, autocomplete email, not username. And let's copy this and add for the username. So let's copy and paste down there. Instead of email, I'm going to change this to be a username. Okay, just in the, the value is going to be uppercase u username. Hit save and come here and you can see we have this username here. And why is not looking like okay yeah because the username type is going to be text not the username and save come here and now it's okay very good now here when we let's open again the http controllers out controller because in the register user we have also the store method here and here we make the validation request validate for the name and i'm going to copy this and duplicate change this to be username it's going to be required string and the maximum is going to be let's say 55 and also i'm going to say uh and i don't like this style Let's add an array. And here I'm going to say required. It's going to be string. And also it's going to be maximum of uh, divide. And next is going to be unique. of the users okay and after that we need to say user create name request name copy this duplicate and change to the username here okay let's save it and the last one, we need to go in the models and add here the username to the protected fillable. So let's say username here and save this one, close. And go and try now to the browser, refresh just in case and add test, test user or test username i'm going to say add the email test at test.com and add the password here register and now we are logged in come here and refresh see the data we have name test and the username is test username very good now let's go and log out and see if the validation works register
OK. I'm going to remove the cause of the register view and remove this uh, required from here. And let's select all the required we have here. Save, come here and refresh. OK, now go and register and we can see now the name field is required, username is required, email and password. Okay, so we added the, uh, we need to add the email validation and the push to the GitHub repository. But this I'm going to do in the next video because this takes too much time. So let's add this to the GitHub repository. So in here or in here, let's open the terminal and say, git add all git commit and i have a alias so i'm going to say just git commit like this and add the message so what we did is we just added the username okay and let's say git push now Okay, that's it about this video, friends. I hope you like and see you in the next video. All the best. Thank you very much.